All right, fellas, the walk-ons. Great to have you. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, let's start with you, Evan. Uh, what's it like being a walk-on? How would you describe it? These last four years have just been like a dream for me. I mean, um, coming out of high school, you know, it's a little bit different. Not having like a scholarship offer for, at BYU, but it's been incredible. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of reasons, but, um, you know, I think first and foremost, probably, probably for all of us, is just we love the game of basketball. We love being out on the court, you know, and, and the camaraderie of, of being a, a team family and being together. I think that's, that's a huge part of it. You said you wanted to be a Cougar growing up. What was that like when you yeah. got to actually be on the team? I mean, it was a dream come true. I remember watching Jimmer Fredette, Brandon Davies, all those older guys when I was younger playing here and just thinking how cool it would be to be a Cougar someday and how amazing the fan base is here and stuff. I remember that first game, just putting on my jersey, getting ready. I just had like a surreal moment kind of realizing, wow, like I'm here now. I've made it. My journey has taken me here and it's been a blessing for sure. So obviously having a scholarship is awesome and that would be great here at BYU, but why, why sacrifice maybe a scholarship somewhere else to be a walk-on here? The facilities are incredible. The coaches are incredible. The team. It's like a family everywhere else. Like the schooling is top notch. I mean, like all those factors play into why you should come here versus another school. Did you have to try out any of you to make it? I, I was terrified when I tried out, uh, <laughs> but it was a lot. It was fun, and then they kept me on the practice team. And then what, with the coaching change, I didn't really know what was going to happen, so I just kept showing up every day, and eventually got a spot on the team. My first year, I didn't even make it. I got cut my first year, which was like heartbreaking for me. I dealt with like a bunch of mental stuff just through that and then bounced back, made it on the practice team and then Coach Rose talked to me after the year and he's like, you've been killing it, man. Um, we want to see if you can be on the team next year. So I accepted that and ever since then, the story's just been keep going. So. And there are some moments where you guys come in and the student section wants to get like more than 80 points or get <laughs> make a three at the end to get over 100 or something. Do you get the sense of that pressure where Okay, it's not the dribble out possession quite yet. I wouldn't say that there's like a ton of pressure, or, you know, any sort of nerves. It's sweet. Let's go play some ball. Do you guys want to be the dribble it out guy? You want to have the? Do you fight for that? Me and Blaze kind of laugh about it. I, I think that Blaze does. I no. think Blaze likes it. I think Blaze does too. I, I always like. It. Especially like, at the end when there when it's a shot clock violation. Yeah. I don't want the turnover, so we try and pass it to each other. Yeah, yeah. If it's about to be a shot clock violation and coach is telling us to just dribble it out, we'll all kind of turn our backs and Blaze will be stuck with no one to pass to, so he can't give his turnover away. Describe the role you have in practice as well. You want to be the guy. You want to score 20 a game, right? But sometimes you'd be on the scout squad and describe what the important role of, of, and Taylor, you talked about that, the important role of the scout squad team. Part of being on the scout team is just going as hard as you can, making sure that you're helping other guys get better, helping them understand how they need to guard, how they're going to be guarded. That can help in the games that we play during the week. You guys have walk-on pride, like if one of you gets in, is like you're rooting extra hard for that guy. Is that a thing or no? Am I making that I feel up? Like, I feel like that. Like when I come back from the bench, like Taylor's always like, gets in I always try and hype him up and stuff like that it's, it's hard to play with confidence obviously when like obviously you weren't like recruited as like you gotta be the guy in the game. so as long as you have your boy behind you I mean like, that's not a ton, so. did you have a walk-on growing up that you uh, or, or recently where you thought oh that guy did something I, wa I want to be like that guy my dad actually walked on the BYU football team so it's a little different but it's just that same idea that like, he chased his dream and it came true and so that's kind of the same motivation that I had to finish um, I guess how would you encapsulate your experience as a walk-on and what it's meant to you Cameron it's, a, it's been a dream come true out of high school a lot of people told me I never would play basketball and uh, just to come every day and compete play the game I love it's a dream. How about you, Blaze? Yeah, I mean, I agree with him. I think that being here, being a part of this team, especially the season we're having, winning, the success that's come with it, it's been super fun and um, something I want to continue doing. I feel like the most important thing that has, like, developed for me is, like, this bond that I've had with all these guys. Like, this is going to go way beyond, like, just these four years. Even though we're together now, we won't be later, I know that they'll still be a part of my life, so. It really is a, a life-defining you know, event, like to be a part of the season and, and the magic that, that we're having right now. And it's something that I'll forever be, be grateful for. Okay, well, awesome. I appreciate the time, guys. And best of luck the rest of the season. Appreciate Thanks, you. man.